So Blair, tell us about what you do. Uh, I'm a family lawyer, practicing in, in Auckland and in Whangarei. I've been doing it now for about 12 years and um, family law covers all sorts of areas, certain areas I practice in, care of children, uh, family violence, oranga tamariki and um, uh, relationship property, spouse maintenance. Mm. Oh good. Tell me more about Legal Aid. Legal Aid is uh, funding from the government that supports um, uh, those uh, parents who can't afford to um, pay for legal services up front. Uh, private fees can be a bit strenuous on the um, family pocket, particularly when they've separated. So if they're eligible um, for legal aid, then the government offers um, a, a funding service. Um, and this pays for the legal fees first instance. Okay, um, <clears throat> But as I said, it's, um, it's income based. What is the criteria for legal aid? The criteria is, is income based, uh, but they look at each particular parent's circumstances individually. So there are generalities in terms of the income and uh, how many children you have, um, and also whether you've got a partner. And um, <clears throat> that assessment is made based on the income that you and your partner provide and how many children that you have and also it's based on your debt and expenses. There, uh, as I said, there are generalities. We kind of know uh, where um, certain salaries cap, that there are certain salary caps at, um, for, different, for the number of children that you have, if that makes sense. Um, but uh, as I said to you, it's done on a case by case basis. Sometimes you can have um, exceeded the income um, salary cap for the amount of children you have, but a considerable amount of debt, and legal aid will take that, take that into consideration. So what if I got declined for legal aid? What would my options be then? Well, some lawyers, um, and I have done this in the past, um, some lawyers will reduce their fee. Um, uh, some lawyers will also, in terms of property uh, matters, they will accept um, a fee upon settlement. I guess it's just uh, done on a case-by-case -case basis, but it, generally speaking, uh, if legal aid is not available to you, then um, sadly they have to pay privately, um, unless they have a conversation with their lawyer and the lawyer is willing to you know, um, strike a deal. Can I say though, legal aid is not um, a free wicket. So it pays for your legal fees first instance, but um, if you are eligible to pay some of that debt back, then they will ask for that um, debt to be repaid. Um, so you may have to pay, say for example, if you're just un underneath the salary cap, you may have to pay a certain amount of debt back and they will legal label uh, offer options for you like $10 a week or $20 a week, depending on you know, your circumstances. So it's, it's certainly not free. If, for example, you're dealing with relationship property, and this happens to a lot of mums, particularly, um, if mums uh, have needed legal aid first instance, then if they receive a settlement sum, then uh, the debt that is owed to legal aid will be paid from the, from the settlement uh, sum. If my case was going to be drawn out, could I still get legal aid if my case was going to be over a two or three year period? Yes, you can. So even if your legal aid, uh, sorry, if your matter continues for a for a lengthy period of time, while you're eligible, while you're not earning a certain amount, right, legal aid will support you. It's at the end of that, say for example you receive a settlement sum, then they will ask for some money back. Um, uh, if of course you can pay for it. They, if, if, say for example you're on a benefit, um, generally speaking um, legal, don't, legal aid don't require any debt paid because they know that you, you know, you, your financial circumstances as such where you may have children or you've got other expenses and your only income is a benefit and therefore um, they won't ask for any debt to be repaid. Can I also say that um, legal aid um, are, are fixed fees so when they're not, um, uh, we don't bill on an hourly rate as such, we have to request uh, for further um, funding for their particular matter and give um, detailed reasons as to why. So the shutdown on government funding for legal aid came in around about 2014 with the change of government and the change of the family court rules. Um, uh, so uh, in light of that, your legal aid debt will, will, would not be as significant as it once was under legal aid and it certainly wouldn't be uh, as big as if you were paying privately. Thanks Blair for coming along today and talking all about all things legal aid which is really imperative 
for a lot of people who are going through divorce and separation. Thanks very much. It's a pleasure.